Alright lads, um, just before I start this video, I want to ask for a big, big uh, help. Best of the YouTubers in the quarterfinal. I could really do it a vote. They're voting in tonight at 12 o'clock. The link to that in the description would really help me out, lads. Thank you very, very much. What's up guys, Boyle, 96HD here, we are back, another episode of Underrated Informs, I promised one till Christmas, every day, and it is going so well so far, so we're on to episode 7 today, and today it is a 41212 striker from Dior Congo, you most of you have guessed it now who it is, but yes, it is, it is uh, Mbukani, I think that's how we pronounce it, he plays for Anderlecht in the Pro League, what a beast this guy is, 84 pace, 77 dribbling, 70 shoot or what's that 75 shooting sorry i can't really read that on sony vegas lads 83 heading just a, <laughs> what a dank this guy is uh three star skills three star weak foot six foot one the pro league yes yeah, kind of like gonna let you down to the league and but this guy can fit into a few pro league teams silvers big mid of mix and all and this guy can fit in a few teams what a player this guy is <laughs> he's tall he's shot his finishing his pace Last year he had four star skills. This year, unfortunately, they did downgrade him to three star skills. I was so annoyed with that. I was like, oh god, if this man had four star skills, he'd be unbeatable. But he still has a lot of good things about his uh, playing style. So into his in game stats, we'll talk about a few of them. His ball control, his finishing are definitely his main ones. His ball control, his finishing, and his shot power. Let me tell you, he's definitely one of the best finishers I've played with. Um, especially from my under and inform series, I've had people who have like been good finishing, but this guy you did not miss a shot. Once he gets it, once he uses that strength, he absolutely just finishes it into the bottom right hand corner, no problem. And as you can see there, strength wise, eighty nine strength, good sprint speed for a big man too. Um, good acceleration, good agility, good jumping to help his heading ability. The only thing I'm very sure he has only medium attacking work rates, which is it is annoying to play with. Definitely, as you can see, he has a medium medium. Which kind of means if you're playing him in, let's say, in a 4-4-2, four, four, he kind of ends up helping out the centre midfielder. So that's the only thing about his heading. Fantastic header out of the ball, but never gets in the right position. That is the only default of this guy, that he does have a medium-medium attacking work rate, which is hard to play with, I will tell you that now. But otherwise, we're going to the, in, or the good things about this man. Has to be shooting, number one. His shooting is just fantastic. And you're going to see that throughout the clips. He just absolutely rocket shots into the bottom right corner. No problem. Just really does defences. Has that strength, has that bust of pace, and has that finish. And in all, he proves a perfect striker for the 12K. He's going to cost you as you get to see at the start i bought him for 16 but at the moment he at the moment even he's only going for 12k on the playstation market and when you're running 12k for a player as much goals as this man has scored for me definitely worth it definitely an underrated in form definitely reckon you should try him out and um, placing the pro league so you can put him in the pro league silver time him or silver side him and Tashidi or Tashidi up forward you can put him on the left him on the right and you have a few options this man has good penalties as well I think they're 82 or 83 in game I took a few of them and I haven't missed one with him good finishing and the keeper even if he goes the right way I seem to have found that he kind of finished him really well and this fella is an all round beast the only thing that lets down I said for me is the medium medium work rates um, but in all he has shooting he is hat passing he is dribbling and he is heading ability definitely I know you've seen no headers in this that is literally lads the only fact uh, the only reason that is because he is medium medium but I've had a few headers if you get me that he's headed down to Wally or that he's headed down to other strikers I've played him with and it's just you know from that that he's going to have a good header of the ball so lads this has been underrated informs we're on to episode 7 now I'm really sure I really do hope you enjoy these the response I'm getting is unreal I'm really trying my best to bring one out every day up until Christmas it's hard with, with school but I'm on my last week's school so fuck school <laughs> it's all about the YouTube but anyway lads thank you very much for watching boil on video can we smash 100 200 likes don't forget to vote for my best of the YouTubers ends tonight at 12 o'clock a vote will be much much appreciated link to that in the description and then uh, my Twitter too so thank you very much for watching boil 96 HD out this being underrated informs episode seven and it has been M. Bacani. So thanks lads, peace, have a good day as always.